occur during a demonstration of hostage freeing techniques at the Laprine military barracks. The official said investigators will look into why real bullets were used. The soldier who fired the shots has been detained. Looking now at the national news, Iowa floods continue to wreak havoc even though floodwaters have receded somewhat. It's just the pits for residents and businesses. The yellow caution remains out as Iowans, in their fighting spirit, bail and dry out. Of other note, a statewide moratorium has been issued for all stock car racing due to a critical shortage of street stocks. Now turning to news on the local level. The Richmond City Council is still in a tie over the demands of local immigrants. It seems that immigrants are marching and demanding a chicken festival be declared a state holiday. It seems that this has been a long-standing traditional immigrant holiday with the right to have a chicken in every pot. City Council has been meeting for the last week and reports have been released that they remain deadlocked over this issue. We also remind our viewer that Mayor Doug Wilder is a lame duck. This is AODP News. The weather is next. You have great advantages like the wheel, the airplane, shoot even the fork. Where does Heinz ketchup fit into all these categories? Well, I, I say it ranks up there quite a bit. 64 ounces of pure red goodness. People in Italy, what are they thinking? Crushing all those tomatoes when they could go into bottles of perfection? I say Heinz tomato ketchup rules in there with the wheel, the airplane, and the fork. Well, the map is lit up with activity tonight. Warm front damage is ahead here on the East Coast. There's a circular motion over here that's running about a third of a mile circuit. Threatening skies are over the Northeast and the Northwest. And up here you see there's a barometric seismographic anomaly that we must watch out for. It's a bit of a bump drafting that's coming in from the north. Of course we have uh, loose wheels peeling up from the south and a cold front is beginning here to pass on the left. Of course there's always the green flag on the peninsulas of Florida and of course up in Maine we see here how the isometric barometric readings here are fluctuating quite well, but we can expect rain delays uh, in the northeast up in the Michigan Peninsula. Peninsula. And I believe that's a wrap on the weather tonight. Thanks for that forecast. Southside. Speed. Toughest short track in the south. Well, once again, we find farm reporter Seth Andrew outstanding in his field with today's farm report. Seth? Seth here for AODP News Farm Report segment. Well, as you can see, the soybean crop is green and growing. This year's crop is turning out to be a bumper-to-bumper -bumper crop. The yield of soybeans per acre is just driving the farmers left to the bank. Meanwhile, due to numerous rain delays, hay farmers have had to cut their hay early. This has started a race to bale as many bales before the crop is finished. We're here today at King's Farm. Innovation, no stranger here, but some things just call for the basics. No beef here, just chicken on the claw and brown country eggs. These chickens race around here like a street rod on a dirt track. Let's hear from Farmer King about these amazing birds. Mr. King, what do these birds eat? Anything they can get. What are these birds good for? Laying eggs. What do they do during the day? Eat and sleep. Ah, well, thanks for that report. Now back to Carrie. With high gas prices in mind, we end tonight with a reported move by NASCAR to go green. Environmentally, that is. Effective immediately, all races will be halved in their number of laps. This move was delayed until today, 
to avoid having to run a Daytona 250. Well, that's the news nightly. You're watching AODP TV. Until next time, we say good night. And boogity 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 boogity, let's go racing. King of Shelton Scarton. I'm moving the eighth car. Bradley comes into the key, showing the key. That's a pretty scary subject to think of some of these cars. It's a wall like that. They could have been seriously.